Hi, and welcome back to another Emerging Tech Bits video podcast. Today, we're gonna to check out a really cool way to make interactive videos. We're gonna look at a really cool smart toy. We're gonna to check out an activity device for your pets. And we're finally gonna look at an assistant that could be coming to your home or library soon. Last time we demonstrated Screencast-O-Matic, which allows you to create videos from recording your computer screen. What if you wanted to turn those or any videos into interactive learning experiences? With Zaption, you can do just that. Zaption allows you to embed questions, polls, discussions, and more directly into the video. You can also edit and trim your videos right in Zaption. You can choose to make your lessons self-paced, or you can share your lessons live and get immediate feedback from your audience through your questions and polls. Viewers can even ask questions live, or you can make an impromptu annotation or question off the cuff. It's full of awesome tools to connect with your audience. Zaption Basic is absolutely free, and their pro version is very modestly priced. It's an easy and fun way to get everyone involved in learning together. Last time we discussed a cool coding caterpillar by Fisher Price, but they also recently released a fun smart toy that is both adorable and educational. Choose from a monkey, bear, or panda, and this animal will be your child's best friend. It tells stories, jokes, takes your child on adventures, teaches the child facts, and even encourages activities like good brushing habits and reading. The child can ask the smart toy questions, or they can prompt the toy to do certain things based on cards that come in its backpack. Just put the card in front of the bear's face, and it goes off. Best of all, parents can customize it in an app and initiate their own prompts, like Time for Bed. The best thing is, is that it learns as it goes and updates itself too over Wi-Fi. You may want to adopt one for your children's department or your own child today. Health and wellness will be a big topic in our libraries this year with it being the theme for summer reading. As we know, many tech devices like fitness and activity trackers are increasing in popularity because it keeps us fit and active. But what about our furry animals and friends? Are there devices that can help us get our pets in tip-top shape? Absolutely, and one such device is called the Pet Cube. It allows you to play with your pet while you're away. When you can't rush home to walk or play with your pet, you can use the Pet Cube to keep your pet active using the safe laser pointer. Perhaps you don't have a lot of time to do this yourself. You can invite your friends and family members to play with your pets so they're sure to get their exercise. As you can also see, you can monitor your pet through the Cube using the Wi-Fi camera as well. This is a great device to make sure your pet is safe, staying out of trouble, and getting the needed exercise. And if you're really serious about wanting to track their steps all day, you can check out the FitBark, which is practically a Fitbit for your pet. Finally, Amazon Echo has become a huge and well-loved product, so much that they just released two more versions of Alexa. The Tap, which is a portable Bluetooth speaker, and the Dot, which is a smaller version of Alexa. Echo is your personal assistant that lets you ask questions like the traffic and weather, lets you add things to the shopping list, lets you give commands like turning your smart devices on and off, and much, much more. You just call her name from anywhere in the room and give the command. Alexa, She's always listening. Sony is actually trying to build on this success by creating their own adorable but very capable little robot called the Xperia Agent. In addition to a lot of the things that Echo does, this device will also be able to know you've walked into the room and then perform commands according to the way you like it without even giving it a command. It will also project items in front of it that you can see and interact with like a touchscreen. It's currently considered a concept device still, but it had a working model available at the Mobile World Congress a few weeks ago. It's really cool to think that this cute and capable device can be in our home or library soon. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to comment below or shoot me an email. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want updates on the podcast. Thank you for watching.